People, it's time for the ceremony. Gather around, please. As you know, this is a celebration of your graduation. This is the beginning of a new dawn in your life. After tonight, you will take your place among your brothers and sisters. All that remains is the ceremony, the final purge of all that was, the beginning of all that is to be. This is what you've been trained for. This is your destiny, your right. Brother Thomas, Brother Daniel, This is your rite of passage, your holy bond. Michael, it's time. No. No, not me. Someone else. Michael, it has to be you. You failed to embrace the spirit of the group. I can do better. Run, Michael. Run while you can. <laughs> <laughs> Accept my word. Accept my word. Accept my word. Kill. Jonathan Raven was an American boy being raised in Japan until his parents were killed by assassins. To avenge their death, he joined the Black Dragons, the very organization that murdered his parents. Now in Hawaii, with the help of his old military buddy, Ski, he is searching for the sun he has never seen. and get the lead out. It's a perfect day and time's a wasted. Ski, try to relax. Fish aren't going anywhere. Hey, see, that's where you're wrong. Fish don't wait. They don't sit around killing time. When they're hungry, they eat. If you ain't there, you pass due. Pass due. That I gotta remember. It's a catchy phrase. Yeah, well, let's get out of here before something happens. I've been waiting on this for a week. All right. Oh, damn. Well, it's all right. I'm not answering it. We're going fishing. Oh, I just love you. I'm looking for Jonathan Raven. But, uh, he just left on a fishing trip. Don't mind him. He's got a hot day with the fish. I'm Jonathan. I'm Callie Parker. I need your help. Why does it always start like that? I have a brother. His name is Jason. He's younger than I. He was going to college here at the University of Hawaii. Jason's always had a lot of problems, drugs, things like that. But it seemed like he was finally getting it together. He was going to major in psychology until six months ago. Then he dropped out of school, gave up his apartment, and joined the Disciples of Dawn. Not those fruitcakes. They're not crazy, at least not in the harmless sense. They're killers. Three nights ago, I went looking for him. I was hidden and I saw it. I saw somebody murdered. It was done in this ritualistic, hideous way. Why didn't you just call the police? I did call the police. I don't even know where to begin. There was this party, a ceremony. My brother was there. there all these young kids like you'd see at a fraternity dance. Except... Except they chose someone to be executed. You said you went to the police. Yes, and I took them out to the site, but there wasn't anything there. I mean, there were remains of a party, but that was all. So we went through their campground. They've got acres of land. And all we saw were these kids walking and meditating like they were at some spiritual retreat. And what about their leader, Father Dawn? 
He treated me as if I were delusional. But I saw him order that execution. Did you talk to your brother? No. They said Jason didn't want to see me. Well, Miss Parker, if the police can't help you, there's nothing I can do. Can we take a walk? Just the two of us. Let's not play any games with each other. I know who you are, Mr. Raven. I know all about you. Trust me on this. Trust is something you earn. You're gonna have to be clearer than that. I'm an investigative reporter. I know how to dig up facts. Before my father died, he was with the CIA. So I know all about the covert operations. I know about Japan. I know about the ransom currently very much on your head. And I know that you're looking for someone you love. A lot of people would like to know what I know. How to respond too well to threats. You do what you need to do, I'll take my chances. They recruit from the colleges. They look for the ones taking special psych courses. Somehow they get to these kids, and they convince them to join Father Dawn. My brother is the only thing I have left in the world. And they're turning him into a monster. You have the training. You have the skills. You're all I've got. Yeah, I thought you were going fishing. No, yeah, had a change in plans. Ah, fish ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, tell that to Ski. Hey, you tell him. BK, give me something cold and wet, buddy. Coming up. Well, that was fast. Well, wasn't that hard to check out. Looks like she's on the up and up. Callie Parker, graduated from Columbia School of Journalism, worked for two major newspapers and a national magazine. Father was Rear Admiral Harvey Parker, deceased, stationed at Langley, CIA. You really gonna do this, ain't you? Can't just walk away. Sure you can. All you gotta do is stand up, put one foot in front of the other, point it in the direction of the brewski, and we're back on our fishing trip. Fish can wait. I need a cover. Can I use the boat as an address? Of course you can. I still say this is crazy. Just because Callie checks out doesn't mean her story did. Why would she make it up? What the hell do I know? Maybe she was just wrong. You know, maybe she didn't see what she thinks she saw. Well, then I'll find that out. Oh, come on, be realistic. The only way you're gonna find anything out is to join this crazy group. I can't see you standing around the airport with a tambourine in your hand going jing, jing, jing. Neither can I, but I have a better idea. Yeah, what? Callie researched the background of over 100 young people who joined the Disciples. An overwhelming number of them were majoring in abnormal psychology, just like her brother. So, I'm gonna start where Jason did. I'm going back to school. School? Your age? Be nice. Wagga wagga. Behavioral psychologists have used the rat and the maze for decades. In many ways, what we are observing is a microcosm of life. For at times, we all run this way and that way in a multitude of directions without any sense of order or purpose. The difference is, unlike the rat, we can reason. A rat cannot reason. A rat can only learn. As you can see, the rat reacts definitely to the scent of food. If he's a smart rat, he will eventually learn a pathway to the food. If he's a stupid rat, he will be subjected to a life of frustration and hunger. And now, dear class, the question is, what path will you choose? Will you allow others to program you? Or will you rise above your environment and learn to program yourself? Or will you be a scampering rodent? Or a human being? I'll see you next class. So, what do you think of that experiment? Thought he made his point. Hopefully the rat got it. 
Hopefully. I think he's great. Everything Dr. Spencer says makes so much sense. We are like rats, running around in maze. Yeah, if we choose to be. Like you said, I'm Jonathan Davis. Oh, I'm Sharon Sanders. Are you a psych major? Used to be. I dropped out of college a while ago. I decided it was time to get back. I was thinking of dropping out. You know, what's the point? There's a lot of people walking around with degrees. And most of them are out of work. Nothing ever changes anyway. The world's just as miserable. Sometimes I feel that way, too. But then you got to listen to the good doctor. It's about taking back control, you know? Yeah, it sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. I think we're really going to enjoy this. Yeah, me too. Sorry. Hey, BK. Hey, uh, there's some girl waiting for you at that table, man. Hey, you must live right. That's my karma. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Just in the library, acting like a part-time student. It's been three weeks, John. It doesn't happen right away, you know that. I go through the motions, I wait for someone to approach me. It takes time. I'll tell you what. Let's just give it a couple more days. If it doesn't happen, then we'll try something else, all right? I know I dragged you into this. It's kind of ironic. My brother's joined a secret cult and you're running away from one? Look, all that stuff I said the other day about your past and everything, it was all a bluff. I would never tell anybody. What makes you think you have a choice? I don't understand. It's very simple. If the Black Dragons knew you had this information, you wouldn't last a heartbeat. And before they were through, they would know everything that you know. Do you think you can really hold out against them? What can I say? But I want you to know that these things have consequences. You've affected my safety and possibly my son's. Just carry this responsibility well. This is not a test. There are no rights or wrongs. All I want you to do is to answer these questions in the most honest way you can. Do not, I repeat, do not sign your names. Anonymity ensures your honesty. You may find some of these questions ridiculous, others humorous, maybe even some disgusting. Just answer them. Somewhere in your answers lies the truth. You may start now. friend, I'm not here to hurt you. I don't like surprises. Who are you? Well, how about you let go of me and I'll tell you. My name is Thomas, and I'm the first step to changing your life. Congratulations, Jonathan. How do you know my name? I know all about you. I know you're tired of being pushed around. Tired of seeing other people cheat you out of what's yours. I know you're an individual with an incredible potential. Nobody appreciates it. Well, congratulations. You know a lot. You still haven't told me how. The questionnaire you took earlier. It told us enough. We can help you get things beyond your wildest dreams. I'm listening. Keep talking. I can't tell you here. There's a special place. But you've got to make up your mind now. 
or what? I disappear and it's over. This is your opportunity. Only one you'll ever have. Well, can I make a lot of money? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Well, then let's go. Message. Whatever happened must have happened in a hurry or he'd have gotten word to us. What do we do? We don't do nothing. I'm gonna try and find him. <laughs> not without me or not. Listen, darling, you'll just be in the way. No, you listen, Herman Jablonski. I have been more places, covered more stories, and been in more danger than you've ever dreamed of. This is about my brother, and there's no way in hell you're doing this without me. I just wanted to know how serious you were. Get in. <laughs> Acolytes! Sit in the first two rows. Disciples, fill up the rest. Come on, let's move it, people. Got a lot to do today. Hi. Jonathan, you too, huh? Yeah, me too. Have a last night, Brother Thomas. He dropped by. Same with me. Isn't this place incredible? Yeah. Father Don. Father Don. Father Don. Father Don. Father Don, 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 Accept my word. Accept my word. I welcome you. And your future brothers and sisters welcome you. No longer will you feel alone, separate and apart. This is your family. Learn to draw from its strength. Each of you are here because you want something. Something better than what you've had. I know because I was like you. Here, you can develop your potential. And it's right there at your fingertips. Power, money, fame, love. Yours for the taking. And we will show you how. Accept my word. Accept my word. Jason, I have to show you something. Could be really great. Oh, Steve, wait up. You're one of the new ones. Yeah. Jonathan, I'm a little lost. You want to go that way? You better hurry. We have 10 minutes before we start fiscal preparedness. Jonathan Davis, Jonathan Davis. Yes, here he is. Wasn't here very long. Three weeks, just withdrew from the class. Like I said, his family's looking for him. I didn't think he had any family. That's what his records show. Uh, well, this is a distant relative. There might be a small inheritance involved. That's why they hired me to try and find him. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Jablonski, I can't help you. He wasn't a full-time student, they come and go. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks. Nothing. Now what? Well, I got a couple ideas. Sixty-eight, seventy, 
71, 72. How does this new group look? Only a few, two, maybe three. There's one, Jonathan Davis. He might be our best bet. Well, it's time for the next step. OK, now I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. If I can get a glimpse of Jonathan, we're OK. And if he isn't here? Then we got big problems. Well, while you're looking for Jonathan, I'm going to go find Jason. Darling, look, I know you're worried about your brother, but there are Donnie's all over the place here. Now, you've been here once already with the cops. They know what you look like. They know who you are. Now, you got to stay put. All right. Mr. Monroe, uh, please sit down. How may I help you? Well, I appreciate you taking the time to see me. Uh, I'm from Tyler, Texas. Uh, some people call that the rose capital of the world. Of course, we don't have the flowers that you folks have here in Hawaii. Anyway, my daughter, she's attending the University of Texas, full scholarship. Uh, Roselle's her name, uh, like the flower. Uh, and she was going to major in psychology. And, uh, excuse me a second. Anyway, she, uh, she just disappeared. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. That must be very painful. But I don't understand. How can I help you? She told a friend that she'd been talking to someone from the Disciples of Dawn. Oh. And I know it's a long shot, but I just thought maybe she might have come here. Roselle Monroe? After the flower. Uh -huh. Well, I'll check our records, but uh, I wouldn't hold out too much hope, Mr. Monroe. Many people come here, they don't all stay. Hello, Callie. Chase? You scared me. You shouldn't have come here. You should have listened to them. Jason, I've come to take you home. I am home. This is my family now. I'm your family. No, Callie. You're not my family. Jason, listen to me. You've got to leave this place. Let go of me, God! Well, I've checked our files. I've cross-referenced. I don't know what else I can do. It wouldn't be too much to ask if I could just look around the grounds. She might be here just using another name. Oh, you're chasing hope, Mr. Monroe. Nothing more. Yes? I see. No, no, it's all right. I'll handle it. Huh, Mr. Monroe, maybe you're right. Maybe we should look around the grounds. You got the wrong room. No, I'm in the right place. Come on, you're wanted at a meeting. Meeting for what? You'll see. You're an interesting man, Jonathan. Very interesting. Well, I was voted most interesting in my high school. <laughs> I'll bet you were. And fast and strong. And you don't like people telling you what to do. 
You uh, took a test recently that told us a lot about you. That's great. Is that why you brought me out here? No. I brought you here to separate you from the group. I think you have great potential. I think you could be one of the chosen ones. But you have to want it. You have to want it badly. You have to want it badly enough to kill for it. Get up, Jonathan. Get up and show us who you are. Enough! Could you use this to kill? Could you really pull the trigger and do it? Could you kill them? What's in it for me? We'll have to see. We're finished. You can go back to your room. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh. I think we've got a good one. <laughs> Hey, Jonathan. Hey. What's this? Protein drink. Keep up your strength. Got a busy day ahead of you. Better get some sleep. All right. Jonathan, what are you doing? I can't sleep, and I'm tired of being cooped up in that room. How are you doing? Well, I was beginning to think you left. Where have you been? Well, they moved me to another group. The training's been pretty tough. Are you okay? Maybe a little tired, but otherwise, great. Great. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm more tired than I thought. They work us really hard. I guess it's for our own good. Paris for what's ahead. And what do you suppose that is? Whatever it is. It can't be any worse than what's behind. I don't know what's the matter with me. I can't keep my eyes open. Do you mind if I lay down? No, go right ahead. Do you have any family? Just an alcoholic, abusive father. I tried to get as far away from him as I could. That's why I came to Hawaii. It doesn't matter. Wherever I go, I can still feel him breathing down my neck. Well, then I guess a place like this can offer you a lot, huh? Sure it does. I'm tired of being scared all the time. I want to know what it's like to be back.
What is life but to know your power? What is death but to live the life of the trampled masses? The Father knows. The Father knows. I have taught you. I have given you the power of life over death. I have made you into a god. This is your destiny, your right to decide who shall live and who shall die. The Father knows. The Father knows. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was wondering when he's gonna get around to visit. Sorry, it's tough to get away. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just dandy. But I'm real sorry about this. See, when you disappeared, I got nervous. Well, it's nice to know that I missed. Where are they keeping Callie? Oh, she's in another part of the building. From what I could get, her brother turned her in. They're like the Stepford kids. More than you know. They drug them with hallucinogens and then they program them. They use a personality test to find the ones that are most damaged, and then they go after those. Oh, nice group of people. Before you know it, they got an army full of assassins just programmed and waiting for instruction. Nothing to trace, no one to question. Look, you think you can handle this a little while longer? Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Hell, if he's gonna do anything, they'd have done it already. All right. We'll make our move tomorrow. Uh, Johnson. I told you we should have gone fishing. What are you doing here? Just restless. I thought I'd get some air. Didn't you take your protein drink? Yeah, it was real tasty. Who are you? You know who I am. The hell I do. Anything I want to with you. This is my truth. You hired this Herman Jablonski to find your brother. You two came here. Jason didn't want to return with you. You left. What happened after that? I have no idea. Check the recruits. Maybe he's over there. Oh, listen, I'm sorry about last night. I usually stay awake when I have company. It was the drink. 
Why would you say that? Let's not be late for the meeting. All right, my children. Let me have your attention. The following come forward. Jason, Jonathan, Eric, Beth, William, Francis, Anthony. Stay behind. The rest of you can go about your studies. You are the special ones. You're different from the others. You hold the future in your hands. But you have to earn it. Brother Daniel. These are the ones who would bring you down, destroy your dreams, crush your hopes. Today, you have the opportunity to strike back. Now, we'll give you more of a chance than you would have given us. You have 10 minutes to run in any direction you choose. Then we'll follow you. Go. Run. No this, I've worn my running shoes. We better beat feet. All right. Call him off. Drop the guns. Go ahead, shoot him. But you better load it first. Let him go. Do it. You give me a lot of pleasure. You're a disappointment to me, Jonathan. You don't drink your protein drink. You go visiting at night. What else do you do? I don't know what you're talking about. Please don't lie. Acolyte Sharon told us you came to visit her last night. Last night, Brother Thomas disappeared. A coincidence. I think not. We'll find out what happened. Oh. Come on, we gotta keep going. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Sure we are. All we gotta do is outsmart them. Don't worry, Mrs. Jablonski didn't raise no stupid boys. You know, I've just about had it with this down-home country crap. They're coming in here to kill us. And you don't look like you're in much shape to do anything. You, you listen to me, Callie. Now, I may not be as young as I used to be, but I'm a little more than some broken-down old baboon. I'll get your butt through this. How? I got some tricks up my sleeve. And if they don't work, we've always got Jonathan. Come on. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not feeling too good. Oh, come on. Jonathan. I'm sorry. They came to my room last night and asked if anyone had been out of their room. I didn't know it would get you in trouble. Who are you? I'm a friend, Sharon. Just like those people who are running for their lives. What's happening to us, Jonathan? That drink last night. It's a mind-altering drug. You see, that's why you slept. So they can program you. Program me? For what? Sharon, look around you. What do you see? They're training these people to kill. Sharon? They're programming you to kill. It's all right. Now, come on, just give me the gun. That's it. That's it, good. That's okay. It's all right. Look, you stay here, all right? You stay put. I'll be right back. Accept my word. Accept my word. Accept my word. Accept my word. Kill them!
going on? Uh, we have some unwelcome visitors. It's being taken care of. Now come inside. We can talk there. Okay. This is far enough. This is where we fool them. What the hell are you going to do with that? Surrender? No, I'm going to leave this for Jonathan. He'll know we doubled back. Now, all we got to do is tiptoe back through them like angels. Gonna let you use it? Give me a pantyhose. And no time to be modest. I need them. Give them. We'll find Johns and we'll get the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere. Get out of the car. <laughs> Time as any to get out of here. Stay where you are. We found your friend hiding behind the building. You really shouldn't have come here. You wanted to save your brother? Let me show you what you were going to save. Jason, kill your sister. Jason? Go ahead, Jason. Kill her. Jason, accept my word. Accept my word. Remember who she is? Kill her! Accept my word. Protect her. Jason? I see you're finally getting off on that fishing trip. Yeah, we're just getting ready to leave. My plane leaves in a few hours. I'm taking Jason home. He'll be buried next to my parents. I'm really sorry about him, Kelly. I'm sorry you lost him. Well, I guess I found him at the end. Wherever he is, he's finally at peace. I hope so. So what happens now to Sharon and the rest? Sharon was lucky her programming only started. It's the rest of them. You know, it's going to take a long time, I think. What about you? You gonna write about this? Maybe someday. Right now it's too close and personal. Thank you. Take care, all right? Thank you both. 
You're right. Mrs. Jablonski sure didn't raise any stupid boys. She knew your mother. It's just a private thing between us. I see. It's private. Steve. Hmm. We mustn't let the Wahoos wait. on FX around the world from London to Vegas to Alaska it's always the same dumb criminals did you forget to pay for this one add off doing dumb things I must be stupid you must be on TV and I smacked the woman dead in the face with a frying pan and she still kept coming at me the reality show that started it all well, you already got me cop don't push me okay cops next on FX to clear up any confusion about the half-price sofas in the Romana collection at DFS. Even though you only pay half and DFS pay the other half, the sofa is all yours. So go halves on a sofa with DFS right now. But do remember, you only pay half, but the sofa is all yours. What's the point of broadband? If you're not into downloading movies or music, and all you do is send the odd email, if you have the time to wait for files to download, maybe broadband isn't for you. But if you could get AOL broadband for just $14.99 a month for the first six months, what's the point of staying on dial-up? Call us now.